So let's start with our first exercise. In this exercise, we are going to create the inside page of a browser. So go to document, make sure that the intent is for print, number of pages, for the time being, we are going to keep them one, and tick facing pages. Page size set to A4, and the orientation to landscape. We're going to set a three column document. Gutter is going to remain as it is, even the margins. We're going to set the bleed to three millimeters. 3 mm is a standard size used by all printers as a bleed guide. Once you have set the following, click OK. As you can see, we have three columns here with a document of an A4 size paper. The red margin outside is the bleed margin, which is 3 mm outside the actual paper. The actual paper can be noticed because it has this black border. The magenta borders are the margin guidelines. Typing within the magenta borders will leave this space, white space, after printing. What is between the red border, which is the bleed, and the black, once printed, this will be trimmed off. So if I want something just Covering the whole page, I need, to, I need to start from the bleeding guideline. If I want to leave, leave sorry, a border between the pages, I need to take in consideration to work with the magenta guideline. Before starting, make sure to go view, grids and guides, and make sure that smart guides, smart guides are checked. Let's start by placing some frames and putting in some images. I'm going to select the ellipse frame tool. Click on the paper and set your ellipse 70 mm width by 70 mm height. Select the selection tool and move your ellipse into the first column and make sure it's centered. Guidelines will guide us to place our circles exactly in the center of our column. We're going to make a copy in each column of this ellipse. To make a copy of the ellipse, press your Alt key on the keyboard, press the left mouse button and drag until you see the copy and place an ellipse in each column. As you can see, the guidelines helped us also to align with the other ellipse. Now, select the first ellipse from the left and the first column, go to File, Place, and I'm going to select the hairstyle JPEG image. You will find these images on the website. I'm going to right click in the ellipse to fit the image in this particular frame. Instead of right clicking, you can also go to Object, Fitting, and select Fill Frame Proportionally. I'm going to select the second ellipse, File, Place, and I'm going to select ManBinoculars.jpg. Open. This time I'm going to use the left the right mouse button and from the drop down menu I'm going to select fitting and fill frame proportionally. I'm going over the image until I see this white target circle and when the hand tool appears I'm going to click the left mouse button and drag the image to place it in the center of the circle. As you can see there is some white space left. I'm going to click on the white circle until I see the golden border. And I can transform the image, increasing its size, removing that particular white space. On the last circle, I'm going to select, I'm going to File, Place, 
I'm going to select old.jpg. I'm going to open, right click, fitting, and fill frame proportionally. Now I'm going to apply a stroke on each of these ellipses. So I'm going to click on the first one. I'm going to click on the stroke panel and set the weight three millimeters. I'm going to change the color to the following values. I'm going to double click on the stroke fill and I'm going to set the CMYK to the following values. C46, magenta zero, yellow 32 and black zero click OK and this will change into a lime green color same thing I'm going to repeat on the next two ellipses as you can see once you set the color this will apply on the rest of the images. The next step, I'm going to use a text box for each column to fill in with text and simulate some text on this brochure. So I'm going to select the type tool and I'm going to create a text box from one end to the other end of the column. Or otherwise, you can set the width of this text box to 87 millimeters and the height to 15 millimeters. I'm going to select again the type tool, click until the cursor blinks into the text box. I'm going to type and I'm going to select fill with placeholder. Once again, I'm going to select the selection tool. I'm going to press the Alt key and place the other two copies on the rest of the columns. And now I have some text also in my columns for this brochure. The last step, I'm going to insert some images, but this time in a rectangle frame. So I'm going to select the rectangle frame. I'm going to click on the paper. And I'm going to set the frame in the following size with 87 millimeters and height 55 millimeters going to place this on the first column okay and I'm going to make a copy for the rest of the columns always by pressing the alt key and dragging by pressing the left mouse button once I have placed all the frames accordingly. I'm going to select the first frame, I'm going to file, place, and select the images accordingly. I'm going to select photographer.jpg. Once again, right click. I'm going to select fitting and fill frame proportionally. Select the second frame, file, place. And once again, I'm going to select old photo, right click fitting fill frame proportionally I'm going to move this a little bit down so I can see place the image better that's it click on the third frame again file place and I'm going to set this with mansion and right click fitting and fill frame proportionally now I have my three images well placed in their columns. To preview your work in a presentation style, just a minute, I'm going to set this a little bit here. Okay. You can use this option on top of the menu bar. If I click here, I have three, four, sorry, options how to view my work. Right now, I'm in normal view. I can click the preview. I can click to view with bleed 
so as you can see this border between the black and the edge outer edge of this this will be trimmed out I can also preview with slug we didn't set as luck right now and I can preview in a presentation way it's near the original work to go back in the normal view just press escape on your keyboard and this will take you back in your normal view click normal from here also otherwise you remain with the slug or the last option you have selected the last thing that I'm going to do I'm going to select the rectangle frame tool I'm going to place a rectangle down below it goes from bleed to bleed and from the lower part of the bleed until it reaches the magenta line on top and I'm going to fill this with the same color of the border of the stroke created on the circle to use the same color I can fill in the values that I filled previously or otherwise I can click selecting from the toolbox the dropper eyedropper clicking on that particular color and obviously I'm going to soften to a fill I'm going to click in the presentation preview and as you can see this is my presentation preview which is near the original clicking on presentation preview it's a good habit because you can see all the details even if there is a small defect you can modify it for example this image at the center column has a slight white space between this border that I have created therefore I'm going to go back I'm going to click on the frame with the selection tool and put it down one pixel back to the presentation preview and this is my work done still a little bit more down okay now it's okay and this is the results you should have right now